Hello everyone, my name is George and today's tutorial is all about the Arduino LCD keypad shield which is this one. This one has a 16 by 2 LCD. It also has a contrast control. It can be adjusted using this onboard potentiometer named RP1. This LCD is connected to digital pin 4 to digital pin 7 which is used for 4 bit LCD mode. The D8 or digital pin 8 is connected to the LCD chip select. D9 or digital 9 is connected to the LCD enable and digital pin 10 is connected to LCD backlight control. It also has a 5 button switch which is this one which is select, left, up, down and right which is connected to a single analog input A0 so as you can see A0 is here but this one is not connected but only this uh, from A1 to A5 is connected the A0 is connected to the array of these five buttons. These five buttons is connected to uh, five stage voltage divider circuit which is I don't know if you can see this one so underneath this one is five resistors. We can minimize the use of analog input pins leaving all other analog pins free so all uh, analog pins from A1 to A5 is free to use the digital pin 0 1 2 3 11 12 and 13 are free to use I really like this shield because it's easy to use especially when you need a uh, keypad input and also you need a display so you don't need any wires you just need to put it above the Arduino it's compatible for Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega so just like this so if you want to connect it to Arduino Mega like this almost the same leaving you with more uh, available connection so in Arduino Mega like this the trade-off with Arduino Mega it's touching the USB port so I put an electrical tape to prevent short circuit but in Arduino Uno it fits nicely like this and no and not touching any pins so now we are here in uh, my computer and I've already prepared the sketch so basically this one is using a liquid crystal Arduino library here we connect the pins to our LCD then in the setup we initialize the LCD telling that the LCD we are using is a 16 by 2 LCD then here we begin writing so we set the cursor in 00, zero. so in the top left then we print something and here we move to the next uh, row then we print this press key then in the loop we are continuously reading the analog input A0 an by analog read you save it in a temporary variable 
Then here, we set the cursor in column 10 because this one is already 10 uh, characters. Then here, if the value or if the analog value is less than 60, we print that as a right button. And if less than 200, then this one is up button. And so on. So let's save this one and save. Then let us make sure that the board is properly selected under the tools menu then board here I already select the Arduino Uno and also make sure that the correct serial COM port is selected here I already select COM7 so after that we hit the upload button here then let us wait until the compilation is complete sorry and upload so now uploading is complete let us see so I'm going to press the right button yay I press the up button down button left select how about reset no this one is reset button how about if two consecutive pins is selected of course so this one is a very nice shield for our Arduino I am using this one since I started learning the Arduino and this one is really useful I hope you like and share this video to your friends I appreciate your time for watching this video please let me know your ideas and suggestions through the comment box Please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified when a fresh video is uploaded. I hope to see you soon. Bye! Happy tinkering!